and all. Uh, and that's. <laughs> That's right. Maybe sit on the Rock and foreshore and have a coffee in the morning and you just see all the awesome steel bumpers just drive past you. It's awesome. Serious and emerging situation here in WA. Even if you have not visited one of the locations. Even if you have not visited one of the locations. Even if you have not visited one. That was us once. Really? <laughs> yeah, in the bug. We just drove past and I just gave it a little blip as we went past. There. Yeah. <laughs> He's from Rockingham, that bloke. Ever since I've lived in Rockingham, there's just always been really nice still bumpers around. Most of us are all friends here, so it's just a good chance for everyone to meet up all in one place and enjoy everyone's rides. We just thought we'd organise something, see if people would turn up, and yeah, it's gotten pretty popular. Oh, it's a 1957 Chev. Yes, yeah, a bit of a work in progress. Just a bottle shop car, as a lot of people call it, as we call it. Because if we just drive it to the servo, we can go to the bottle low. Yeah, definitely uh, turn some heads, that's for sure. I've got um, pictures of me when this was in um, Primer, and it was just a bare car of me as a little toddler standing up out of the windscreen. Yeah, it's, you know, there's a lot of love and uh, blood, sweat and tears, you know, going into it. My dad's a mechanic, so pretty much anything I know I've learnt from him. It's definitely the, the perception that cars and mechanical work and all that kind of stuff is a, a bloke's world. You know, everyone reads your number plate and they go, oh, really? Does a girl own that? There's no way. And I'm like, well, yeah. And I guess that's just a, a generational kind of thing, you know, mechanics. They're all blokes. You know, you don't normally see a chick get into one of those kind of professions. It's really good to see that there are females out there participating in these kind of things. The problem with using this thing, they don't know where the cable is. Well, if you actually taught me, I would know. <laughs> Girls can do just as much as the guys can, and we can definitely get in underneath the hood and do the work that we need to do on our cars. There's more females joining all the time, which is great, where before it sort of wasn't. I think you're getting better at acknowledging that there are more females involved in cars. There's always been nice cars around. My dad had nice cars when I was little. My husband's always had nice cars, so we build cars together. There's always really nice cars in Rockingham. You sit on the Rockingham foreshore and have a coffee in the morning and you just see all the awesome steel bumpers just drive past you. It's awesome. Rockingham gets a bad rap. You know, you hear all the bad stories, but you don't necessarily get to see all of this and see the good that actually is, is behind it. It's awesome, it's awesome. I've actually made new friends since we started it. Everyone's just really nice to each other. There's a lot of respect for other people's rides. I just hope it gets bigger and better. As long as everyone behaves, that's what we're all about, is just respecting everyone's cars and respecting the road as well. So we don't want any unwanted presence here. So yeah, it's getting bigger every week. You know, we've got so many awesome cars between this whole area. We're pretty lucky, really.